equations uh, in two variables, and this is the first one that I'm working with, this two equations. Um, we already treated the linear equation in one variable as a system of equations, so it'll be the same procedure. And so we go to the graph and we enter uh, for f1, first equation, we enter 2x minus 5, and we talk about, it was in standard form, but they had to uh, put it in slope-intercept form to be able to enter it in the calculator. And then we hit tab to enter the second equation. And let's see if I can bring up F2. And in F2, once we put it in slope-intercept form, uh, we originally had negative x minus y equals negative 7. But now we have y equals x plus 7 when we put it in slope-intercept form. plus 7 and then I hit enter and you can't see the intersection point on the graph and a lot of times my students will use zoom fit uh, but in this case zoom fit when they do if they do try it you still can't see the intersection point so this time I um, told them to go to window zoom and zoom out so you could see more of the graph um, a lot of times you're zooming in to find max and mins but on, since they're both lines we'll just hit zoom out and hit that a couple of times and it brings the intersection point into the screen and then the same process we're going to go to uh, menu analyze the graph if I go to intersection and then lower bound you're going to get on the left hand side of the intersection you're going to hit enter and then you move the line across the intersection where the shaded area now between the two lines shows the intersection point you hit enter and it shows that those two lines intersect at the, the solution is uh, x is 12 and y is 19